NFTs hold a limitless amount of untapped potential in the crypto space. We are just scratching the surface of what we can do with this technology. But ever since the crypto market downturned over the past year, many people have been sitting on the sidelines wondering what the next big catalysts are for NFTs that will cause a big spike of interest in the technology. But today I want to talk about a massive technological shift that's happening outside of crypto that could have a major impact on the NFT market. I'm going to talk about all this as a blockchain developer who works this technology on a daily basis. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to know how to master blockchain step-by-step -step start to finish, then head on over to adaptuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to start today. All right, so let's talk about this major technological shift that's happening outside the crypto space that could impact crypto in more ways than one, but particularly around NFTs. I'm going to start off with that and then talk about these other ways here in a minute. But let me set the stage so that we can connect the dots so that this can make sense. So here on my screen, I've got this picture pulled up, okay? This is a, an artwork that was generated uh, with an AI, so completely from artificial intelligence, okay? And this recently won an art prize. And, you know, artists are not happy about this, okay? Because basically this was created by a computer and not by somebody who, you know, sat down and slaved uh, by creating this thing completely from scratch on their own. So I think that a similar thing is about to happen with non-fungible tokens or NFTs, uh, particularly right now. And let me set the stage for why that's the case. So, you know, I've been watching the artificial intelligence space or AI space pretty closely outside of crypto as another, you know, area of interest of mine over the past several years, okay? And so basically, you know, we've been able to create images with artificial intelligence for quite some time now, but we're actually crossing an inflection point where this is getting better and the technology is actually getting more accessible to more people. And those two things are creating a perfect storm for the adoption of this particular technology but also how this can come back and impact the crypto space. So let me just show you an example of my screen here. So you can see this is an ex a, a famous painting, you know, girl with a pearl earring, all right? And you can see like what an AI is capable of doing. Uh, this is the artificial intelligence technology DALI, okay? Uh, which has been out for quite some time now, but they just introduced a feature called outpainting, where essentially it has created, uh, you know, an artwork completely the artificial intelligence around this famous painting to complete the environment uh, that's complementary to the original image, which you can see here, okay? Like, this is absolutely insane. And so this is able to, you know, basically complete artworks based on some initial uh, source here, but you can also just give human words and phrases to an artificial intelligence model, and it can just generate images from scratch. You know, you could go to some website here and then just type in like, you know, whatever you wanted to generate and it would create a pretty convincing image of that thing type of thing. You know, this has the potential to disrupt stock images. It has dis potential to disrupt, you know, uh, mainstream artwork, all types of different things. But let's talk about how it could come back and actually disrupt the non-fungible token or NFT market and also other aspects of crypto. So like I was saying before, we're really at this point where the technology is getting better to where the images that it's actually generating are getting better. Uh, and then also it's becoming more widely accessible. So the technology that I showed you here uh, is based upon, uh, you know, Dali, which has been one of the leaders in the space for quite some time. That's who introduced this Al painting feature uh, among their uh, other, uh, you know, projects under the Open AI project. So uh, most recently in August of 2022, which is just shortly before the time of recording this video, we have another uh, public release of a competing offering called Stable Diffusion, okay? So what is the big deal with Stable Diffusion? Well, basically, created by Stability AI, Stable Diffusion uh, has essentially just been open sourced where other people can just take the models and like download them and run them themselves or run them on a server where you could like, you know, talk to it as a service, okay? And so what does that mean? Well, essentially, you know, stuff like DALI is hard to get and slash expensive where something like Stable Diffusion, okay, is much more accessible because it's open source and can actually be run in some cases on just consumer hardware. Here's an example of somebody who just created a uh, service that lets you install uh, Stable Diffusion with a one-click installer and actually run it on an M1 Mac. Okay, you can see an example here where you can see this person can just type in text of what they want to see and it will generate this 5 by 12, uh, or sorry, 512 by 512 image of this, you know, just completely made up 
uh, image on their computer here. Okay, so this is absolutely insane. The open access to this and the ease of running this on consumer hardware is making this so much more widely available. All right, so let's bring that back to blockchain and NFTs. If you want to launch an NFT project, okay, there's so many different things that you need, all right? You need, you know, artwork, you need a community, you need some sort of uh, sort of narrative around the NFT, and then you need the actual NFT uh, smart contracts themselves and the ability to store the images on IPFS uh, or some sort of decentralized file storage system so that you can actually, you know, put this project out there uh, in perpetuity uh, on the blockchain. So, you know, in the grand scheme of things, it's not that hard to create your own NFT uh, smart contracts, okay? You know, most NFT projects are just basically a fork of another idea in terms of the coding implementation, okay? And then you kind of just tweak some settings to make it your own custom NFT project. Now, really, the hard part is coming up with some really unique uh, artwork, okay, or idea, and then getting the artist to create something that's actually pleasing to the eye that somebody wants to hold. I mean, we see all these, like, cartoon, you know, forks that are just, like, you know, slight copies of something else that are very derivative. But in terms of actually generating original collections, like you've got to have the idea, but then you have to have a good artist to render that. And that's where the AI technology is actually going to make that a lot easier. So if we have, you know, the ability for people to just type in a description of what they're looking for uh, to create these types of NFTs uh, just from a text prompt, okay, then you can see, and, and, you know, anybody can download this and run it on, you know, consumer hardware like this. And that's going to be a total game changer from actually needing to hire somebody who can create something that's, you know, super uh, convincing for your own project. All right. So not to mention all of the unique ideas that are going to come up out of this. We are not just trying to copy and paste old formats, you know, to get an AI to replace the artist in this case, but all the novel NFTs that can actually be generated because it was created by an AI in the first place or how you could have dynamics where users are even uh, creating their own NFTs from scratch you know, with an AI, because now this technology is, you know, open sourced, I'm seeing all types of different applications pop up, um, you know, with AI, you know, plugged into it. Like I've just seen plenty of examples like this, you know, uh, this house does not exist.org. Basically, it uses AI to generate, um, you know, these modern architecture renderings. Okay. So some types of things where you could have, you know, users minting NFTs where they don't know what they're getting from scratch, but then the AI actually generates this based on maybe some sort of set of parameters, create novel use cases for NFTs. And so another area that has got a pretty big impact on the crypto space, not just with crypto collectibles and NFTs, is actually blockchain gaming. So I saw this tweet pop up recently, and I thought it was a pretty interesting take as well. So this is talking about DALI, all right, the other uh, sort of AI image generation tech that I was talking about outside of stable diffusion. I guess you could even apply stable diffusion to this. Uh, so let's just let's just talk about this. So basically, hopefully DALI will dramatically lower the cost of in-game art. It's still one of the biggest costs to producing a video game, roughly the same cost size of software development when you look at the line item cost to build a game. So basically, you know, crypto gaming is one of the big sort of untapped sectors that people are excited about in the future. It takes a lot to create a game that people want to play, okay? So it's very challenging to do that. And one of the biggest challenges, not just the software development, is also creating the artwork for the game itself. And you have to pay a lot of money to do that. And so one of the ideas here is if we can use artificial intelligence to try to reduce some of those costs, it can reduce the friction uh, of creating a game. Because it's not just about the cost, it's about the time that it takes to ship this thing. And so if you can start turning out games faster where that artwork is less of a bottleneck, then that could be a massive game changer for the crypto gaming space as well, which, you know, really has a you know, big relation to NFTs because, you know, we have NFTs with in-game items. The NFTs also play a pretty critical role in blockchain gaming. And this is a way where it can essentially kill two birds with one stone. All right, so that's an overview of the big technological shift that's happening in the artificial intelligence world, particularly around artificial image generation, okay? So again, some of the big players in this space are like uh, OpenAI with their DALI project, but then you have pretty big disruption here uh, with Stability AI and Stable Diffusion release, which has essentially made this way more accessible where people can run this on their own machines basically for free, okay, and create all these new offerings, which can create brand new possibilities for image generation, particularly with NFTs and also crypto gaming. So I hope you like this video. As always, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. It really helps these videos out so the more people can learn about blockchain. And if you're as fast with the technology as I am, you want to get your hands dirty, how can you get started today? You can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find my free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those and you want to take the next step, you know, you want to learn how to master blockchain step-by-step start to finish, 
uh, land your first blockchain job, then head on over to dappydiversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. You have to be an expert. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. And until next time, thanks for watching Dappy Diversity.